Hello, and we're back. We're gonna run through our checklist again, our QC tip, and see what items have been satisfied by the information in the alignment module. And you'll see those annotated with this blue align, and of course, all the others that we've already uh, annotated from our previous module. So, here we are. Course design is cohesive and aligns the course objectives, assessment, and activities. That's the primary function of alignment, so that is align. Course module or unit outcomes are stated, okay? So we want uh, in each module or in each unit that the outcomes for those are stated clearly and are aligned to your course objectives and the assignments in that module align to the module objectives which align to the course objectives. Scrolling through course learning outcomes. A lot of these are satisfied by good alignment. Learning outcomes build upon existing knowledge. Course learning outcomes are aligned with program and or institutional learning outcomes. Very important. Uh, course learning outcomes are reviewed and updated on a regular basis. Course learning outcomes are stated in the syllabus or in the beginning of the modules. We want to make sure the students know from the very outset what it is we're trying to achieve with this course. Course learning outcomes and content are continuously evaluated for alignment. Make sure that all the assignments make sense and they are progressing towards a course learning objective. Course learning outcomes are clearly defined and measurable. That's all about how you write them and how you're going to assess them. There are clear links between learning objectives and outcomes with activities and assessment. So again, the students want to know that what they're doing is for a purpose. So you want to state that purpose explicitly if you can. Course learning outcomes are related to the appropriate level of learning. Again, that's knowing uh, where in that blooms uh, chart you are. You want to be progressing towards the higher order blooms if you can. But also know that a lot of times you need some of those lower level blooms to make the upper level blooms uh, possible. Uh, all learning outcomes for the course are assessed to make sure there is some way that you're assessing each and every one of your course learning outcomes. Uh, these are items we've already covered. Here's a couple new ones. Assignments are directly related to the course learning objectives. Again, if you're proceeding from outcomes to assessments, then your assignments should be aligned with your outcomes. Assignments are meaningful, purposeful, and relevant to the learning outcomes. Again, if you're doing the process, where you're stating your learning objectives, stating your module objectives, and then creating assessments that align to those, that will be covered. Here's another one here. Instructor sets clear expectations for student regarding course learning outcomes. Okay. And another one here. Discussions are meaningful, aligned with course learning outcomes, and provide opportunities for critical thinking. Moving on, the next item. Was that the last item? That might have been the last item. And it was. So that was the last item for which this module touches on the QC tip. Uh, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen items of from making sure that you're aligning your course to your course learning objectives. This is helpful.